guys, Josh here, also going through the uh, queues today. I uh, just did spy. So if you look at the queues here on Memorial Day, God bless all those soldiers. Um, if we take a look here, you can see we're in this downtrend, but we did break out of this downtrend. Again, the queues tell a little different story than spy. Spy kind of looks like it's topping out. The S&P looks like it's topping out and should roll over. But as you know, spy is made up of a lot of big tech names and that's what the queues are. The queues actually have some room to run depending on how you read this chart. You either read this as support turning into resistance or I would expect us to get back up into here in this 317, 316, 317 range, which would go in uh, sync with the volume profile because we are in this gap. So it's weird that we stopped in this gap right here, which would mean we would get sucked up into here, which would push SPY higher. So expect either Monday to pull up into this 317 range and then get stopped there on this um, support turning into resistance. Or I guess you could see us fall back down and get sucked into the 300 range. So that's the range we're playing between these two purple lines. If you look at some of the components of SPY, like an Amazon, you can see it's topping out right where it topped out before. So this would tell us we're going lower. If you look at an Apple, Apple is right here sitting on that nice volume peak on the volume profile. Again, this is going to hold here most likely also topping out where it had that jump before. You should see that fall. If you look at a Facebook, it's actually fascinating for Facebook. Facebook is in the middle of a falling wedge, but it has not resolved it yet. I would also expect this to come lower one more time and then have a, a ramp out of Facebook here. You can see that very clear falling wedge here, which is a bullish uh, sign. So. If you read this though as a descending triangle, which could be done, where you take this line and you draw it here, this becomes a descending triangle. Then you do have a bearish look here. So a little bit of a buyer's beware. This could end up sinking lower, depending on, it really depends on how this next iteration goes. If it turns into more of a wedge with that line, or if it flattens off, then you'd expect this to be a falling triangle. So watch very closely here for Facebook. Thanks, guys. God bless. Hope this helps.